All right, let's talk about what's gone into creating GORUX Merino wool socks, best socks I've ever worn. The basic truth is, when you're dealing with socks and feet, the drier the better. And so if you create socks that are too thin, I don't care what the fabric is, and it should be a Merino blend, but if it's too, if it's too thin, then you're gonna get too much friction as you rub in the heel of your boot, your military boot, or your, your high speed boot, or, or anything, you're gonna get holes in your socks, it's gonna to lead to blisters. If your socks are too thick, like the first socks that I got in, in the military, I had like 10 pairs of these, and they're so thick that they make your feet actually sweat more. And then when your feet get wet, and it's all sorts of bad as you're, as you're moving around and doing more. So you need this sweet spot. And Merino wool was the perfect place to start. The question becomes, what should the blend be? So we looked at socks that we've used and abused over the course of the last, you know, 20 plus years, worn them all, had them all, worn, you know, all kinds of different shoes, training shoes, running shoes, ballistic trainers, all, all different kinds. And what's that kind of perfect fit when you're doing work is you start with, um, well, let's see, where do we want to start? So we, we, Getting specific to the brands, Smart Wool used it forever. Um, great sock, great company. It always stretched out too much for me. When you're dealing with socks, you wanna size down. Not up, not at necessarily, but down. Because if your sock's too big, over time as it stretches, you're gonna get rolls under your foot. It's gonna create, what? Blisters, big problem. So don't do that. If it stretches out too much, that's a big problem. Um, the one that I've worn for the last, I don't know, 10 years has been darn tough. And those are great. I just kept getting the same kind of friction, too much friction, too many holes in the, the hot spots of the sock, like these ones. Some of my favorites, turn it inside out so you can sort of see what, what's going on there in heel. Um, that's probably the highest friction area in, in the whole sock. And so you wanna pad that a little bit more. The thing is, is what's in the blend? You've got merino wool and you've got nylon and you've got some, some spandex in it. Um, but when you read the percentages on the actual product page, it's, it's not the full story. The full story is you need more nylon in the heel back here because every time you take a step, especially if you've got you know military boots back there, you know what the heel feels like. As you've got anything, your heel is always rubbing on the back. What that does is it creates friction. Your skin, your, your heel back there, is gonna be a casualty of that friction. The sock, of course, is the barrier, so you want it to hold up. The other benefit to having a greater percentage of nylon versus merino wool in the heel is that nylon is actually smoother than merino wool. So it's smoother but not slipperier, and it's, and it's tough. So it will, it will stay there for longer and, and kind of provide a greater barrier and create fewer fewer holes in the back of the uh, in the back of the sock and then as you get into you know comparing differences a little bit I guess you take the the high like the darn tough goes straight up the calf which is you know we, we contoured this because if you've got you know legs like ours then they the the that part of the leg is not straight that's where th this part of the sock is where more the spandex and merino goes certainly less nylon you've got more nylon in in the toe area you know when you think about your so you think, I'll use my hand as my foot. How does that sound? And when you get your, your nails poking through on the end of the sock and that rubs into anything, that's another great spot to get a bunch of, uh, get a bunch of spots there that end up being holy inside of the, uh, inside of the, the, the top of that sock there. So we, we wanted to take, take what we've learned and reinforce those areas. You can see if you do it wrong, even when the sock is great, this is my son's my son's merino wool, uh, smart wool blend. And you just see, you know, in the in the heel right there, I don't know what that's from exactly, but he's not rucking at SFAS, Special Forces Selection and Assessment. He's just going about his, his daily life and he's got, he's got a hole there or a soon to be hole, which just puts more of your skin up against the heel counter. That leads to, to, to greater blistering, greater discomfort, no matter what the no matter what the shoe is, no matter what you're doing. So whether you're doing, you know, training or running or rucking or military rucking, whatever the case may be, you know, the, the goal is that you want to keep your feet dry. And to do that, you want to keep the correct blend and, and you don't want to chintz on socks.
at the end of the day. So keep your feet dry and you might as well, might as well give these a shot because they're the best socks I've ever worn.